So we're delighted to be in Glasgow today on the fringes of the COP summit to bring the Scottish salmon sector together to discuss how we can solve the issues of packaging for the future and how we can do that as one of the ways of fulfilling our pledge to be world leading in responsible, sustainable and healthy farm food production. The pledge that we're going to look at um, today um, is quite specifically um, how we get to 100% recyclable, reusable or biodegradable packaging. Scottish salmon farming, being based in Scotland, um, it's quite a major part of um, Scottish economy and um, has impacts on the environment and part of the that impact overlapped with our work on packaging so we have been looking at um, polystyrene fish boxes um, possible alternatives not just alternatives um, whether those fish boxes get into the environment which they do they've been recorded in marine litter um, across Europe at the moment and for years EPS has been the best packaging for, for doing what we're doing you know it provides the insulation um, and it provides the mechanical strength for, to protect the fish. We realise that polystyrene is 100% recyclable. It's just not always recycled. It's also um, it's a single-use item, even if it is recycled. It's used once and then disposed of. And really, you know, we're here today because of the climate crisis and biodiversity crises. So we really have to be moving away from single-use items as much as possible to reusing items and a circular economy. Our primary concern is food safety. So we have to start from a, at the premise that the, the food that we deliver has to be safe. And, and then we look at other alternatives. So one thing we can't lose in innovation is, a, is the heart of the message for our industry, which is we, don't, we have to be safe first, I would imagine, and we also have to be environmentally as responsible as we possibly can. What would the Scottish Government expect us to be doing? And they might not be very specific, able to be very specific, but they will expect us to be world leading in what, in what we do in this area. Um, Ed? As I, as I listen to this, and I'm not a packaging expert, but I, um, I get the feeling that, that innovation is quite sort of piecemeal. Uh, and uh, each retailer is doing their own thing. Uh, it's tremendously competitive in the retail world, of course, so everybody wants a point of difference. Um, everybody wants to be first to market. So I, I'm just wondering if we should find a way as, a, as, a, as an industry, perhaps through the industry body, um, to provide an incentive for the packaging industry to step into these spaces. To me and to us in the, in the packaging industry, it's a long learning curve. We have to work with all sectors, with all solutions. Uh, it's the planet that matters. Uh, you know, we, we welcome regulation. Yeah, it is absolutely a collaborative effort. We, we look at food production, but I wonder whether there is any value in looking more widely about how there is centralization of these resources so i suppose what i'm looking at is you know how do how do other other industries manage pallets how does the sea ship or the shipping container issue be, how is that managed on a global scale and, and are there learnings that we can take from that so that we can actually look at truly reusable um packaging yeah. I, it's a really interesting point and one of the opportunities is trying to identify the circular economy opportunities in this. If we can create reusable, then what can we be doing to have that packaging go out, but then have a product that can come back in? So if we look at the US, for example, potentially it's a good example where we know we've got salmon going out, but then there's other products, seafood products that are coming back in. So what can we do? What is the compatibility like? And can, can we use it? I think the other point for me is about standardization. You talk about centralization. For me, I think there's a, there needs to be a focus on standardization as well to make sure that everyone throughout that supply chain is, is, is contributing to this solution because we need them to be able to use it. If they can use it, there's going to be a greater chance of that product coming back in. And if we can get that operating, then great. Do you know? 
but that involves going out internationally to try and reach and understand who we can potentially partner with. Donald, is there stuff you see from... Yeah, it's a really good point. It, the, the, the problem that we we have is there is no standardisation. And, and what we're looking at actually is moving away from standardisation where different uh, companies want to pitch their solution. Um, but it doesn't fit in the containers. You know, uh, it's, uh, some do, some, some well, some want. Are the containers the right uh, medium that we use? So it's about joining up all the aspects of the business uh, and making sure that um, that we we really come closer together on what packaging looks like for us uh, as an industry. And going back to your point, yeah, I think it's a great idea. I think the um, you know it's not just this. What about weight management of of nets, plastics that are used in the industry? All other aspects. Do we, as a group, uh, as salmon producers, take ownership of of all of those and have a centre of excellence for recycling, for example? I know it's a big aspirational thing, maybe, but but um, I think the the tone of the climate, uh, the tone of where people are today, we, we just can't play at this anymore about uh, using you know giving tokens and stamping things as recyclable. Maybe you have to take a bit more ownership as an industry and say, you know what. Um, these are our wastes. We have a centre somewhere in, I don't know where, central belt. And we deal with all of them as best as we can in that area. Uh, just a perspective from the corrugated industry on uh, reuse versus um, single trip. Reuse, we recognise, is the most, if you like, CO2 efficient packaging. Uh, so reuse is, is great, but our solution is single trip and recycle. So that's where, where we are. Um, it's every corrugated box you see, that you receive, um, that is a single trip uh, packaging uh, solution. It's then bailed at the back of the supermarket or in your local collection, uh, in local community collection, it's bailed and sent back to the paper mills. So that's, um, that, that, that's just to bear in mind that uh, corrugated is a single trip, a single use solution. I think from our retailer's point of view, it's bought in. Um, I think we understand well that there is tremendous um, claim to be made on the sustainability front uh, for the blue economy. We have all sorts of um, pluses to, uh, on the sustainability front when you compare us to some of the uh, terrestrial uh, beasts that are also farmed. So I think that, yes, our retailer is definitely bought into the blue economy. Um, I do think there are gaps, though, uh, in terms of uh, our, our ambition or our, or our ability to to be more ambitious in Scotland, I think I think there's a, um, a fabulous opportunity to be had with the blue economy in selling a product that has really good sustainability credentials. So long as we keep moving along that that path, um, but I think we limit ourselves, uh, especially in terms of um, giving us the space to experiment. As far as um, sustainability and business goes, um, I think um, I've seen figures to suggest that by 2025, half of the workforce, certainly in Europe, will be millennials. They're much more concerned about sustainability and where their food comes from. So that's certainly something for business to keep in mind, and that's probably something that's going to drive things going forward. I agree with you. I think business should be leading the way. Um, showing regulators what can be done and regulators will follow. We can't wait for the regulations. I think there's, it's quite often used as an excuse or there's a regulatory review underway, which there is at the moment. Um, you know, let's not wait for it. Let's move and show them how it can be done. This is really, really important. Packaging is something that we should be focused on, but there is a broader piece to the sustainability efforts that we can make across the industry. And so there are ways in which I want to challenge the market and challenge the way that things are done currently, because I think there are more efficient ways that we can help and uh, just look forward to continuing to work with everyone and hope that we can continue to work with you to support the efforts, because it's a fantastic industry. If we deliver strongly on our sustainability chart, and we've just talked about one aspect of it, the packaging today, um, we're the answer, aren't we? We're not the problem. We're the answer. As an industry, we're trying our best to, to move forward, and we've made some really good progresses. I think last year, we last year we 
34% of ours was reusable packaging, which is equivalent of about 450,000 less boxes going out there into the world. So that's a good number, but it's nowhere good enough and we don't want to be there. We also want to look for improvement. Um, but I think at this moment in time, if this is a moment in time when we can do something, I think it's key that we uh, collectively say, to collectively grieve what we want to do with our packaging going forward. And then actually engage a bit more with government because they really need to listen to what we've got to say. And if we say it in a disparate voice, it will not be anywhere near as powerful as if we come over as a body with us giving clear messages to the, to the government saying, we know what we want as an industry. We want to, we, we know what to, we want to do as an industry. We know how much resource we have to put in, in as an industry, but this is what you need to do to try and support that as well. Donald, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, um, what we're doing, what Tavish is doing in changing the organisation is to include all the voices uh, in Scotland to benefit all the 10,000 or 8,000 to 10,000 jobs uh, in Scotland. That's the uh, change that we're trying to create with the organisation. Um, and we would like to engage with each and every one of you and your organisations as we go forward. But for today, could you please give a very um, good round of applause to your panel for all their contributions and thank you very much everyone. Thank you.